Man, I'm sorry. He's a man with a guilty conscience. I mean, when you're having to scam people out of thousands of dollars that they work hard for, I mean, it's... It's a bad situation for everybody, truly. Let's see if they're home. Oh, yeah. Tonight, he comes clean to customers about his former employer, a plumbing company. I just had to get it out of my chest. It was just two weeks ago we told you about a Salem man who thinks he has proof a plumber was trying to take advantage of his urgent plumbing problem. An employee of that company warned him about it, and now our Dan Tilkin has another employee coming forward to apologize face to face. And Dan, you were there as he went along to apologize. Right, and first we want to remind you our first story, it hinged on this text message right here from the plumber to his employee about an underground pipe. And you see right there, it says break it. Well, wait until you see what we've uncovered now. I just remember this job specifically because- Mike Zapata is taking us back to the I scene. past this street. Of something he's not proud of. I was literally looking over my shoulder every second to see if you'd disappear for one second so I could take a take a whack at this line. And I eventually poked a hole through this line and uh, had it covered up with dirt because the guy was coming out. Mike is talking about what he did in this hole in the ground and that pipe you see with a hole in it. Mike says he put that hole in it. How's it going? And did it when the man we've come to All see right. wasn't looking. Sorry, good, yeah. Ray Thompson. My boss would call me, hey, did you did you break that line? And I'd say, no. I mean, the gentleman's sitting here talking to me. And I'd have to wait for him to go and run to the bathroom or go and do things and take a whack at this line. Mike Zapata worked for Ruder Wright Plumbing. It's also known as SalemRuder.com. It is owned by these people, Chloe and Mike Lima. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. So. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming forward. <laughs> It was just two weeks ago when we introduced you to another one of the Lima's Ruder Wright employees. But then he just kept calling and calling, and I was like, this doesn't seem right. David Hildago said he was told to break a pipe at Joel Kinney's house. And he goes, I think they're scamming you. David showed Joel this text from Mike Lima that says, break it, when the homeowner was not around. When he not outside, break it. When we asked Chloe Lima about the text message, she said it was all about keeping the customer from being alarmed. You expect me to believe that you're telling your guy to break the pipe when they're not, allow they're not around to save them some sort of emotional trauma. Well, it's unsafe as well. How is it unsafe? Because there could be flying debris and we're also dealing with sewage. Well, if there's flying debris, shouldn't your worker have goggles and a hard hat and some sort of safety protection? Yes, he, he should. Let's see if they're home. We went with Mike Zapata to another house where he says he's not proud of the nearly $8,000 job on the sewer line. The homeowner is Tony Marin. His brother put us in touch by phone. Mike, were you told to break his line? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I was told, I was basically instructed to break in pieces and if you were to come out, basically cover up and act like I'm still digging. So... Okay. Mike Zapata showed us text messages from Ruder Wright owner Mike Lima. They read, break, break the line, make sure to break it up. Another explains, break that pipe as you go, and if anyone stopped by to look, cover it up. And? And I said, I found it. Mike said, okay, break it. And I said, how much of it? He said, all of it. Mike Zapata says he was fired for reasons he doesn't understand. He and David Hildago aren't the only former Ruder Wright employees to come forward. There's Robert Elliott. Yeah, there was lots of stories of them being asked to do things that they didn't feel, feel very good about breaking a line or, or telling them that more of the pipe was damaged or um, increasing the job from a small repair into a large repair. And there's Daniel Schroeder. When he asked me, he's like, is anybody there? I told him no. Uh, I'm all right, well, break that sewer line. I broke it. All right, and then once I broke it, I called him back, and then he tells me, well, grab all the roots around the sewer line and put it inside the sewer line so it looks like the roots were the one, what broke it. Hi, Chloe. Uh, this is Dan Tilkin with Coin6 News, Channel 6 again. We tried arranging an interview with Chloe and Mike Lima to ask about the new allegations. Chloe said we'd hear from her lawyer. What's his name so I know who to uh, look out for? Hello? We didn't hear from the Lima's lawyer. But this is what Chloe said the last time when we asked about David Hildago and the text message. I got to tell you, I don't think people are going to buy your explanation. I think people are going to go, 
this looks like a smoking gun, that they were pulling a scam. I, I apologize that that is what you feel, but the fact of the matter is, is that the repair had to be done. Now, the Oregon Construction Contractors Board, they told me they'd be watching our story mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, each of the employees in our story, they tell me they are willing to talk to the investigators. Um, I know that the CCB is already investigating two cases in Salem. Now, as we reported, Mike Lima, Chloe's husband, he pled guilty in California to insurance fraud. After three years of probation, he got that charge expunged. Okay. Good story, Dan. I think now, overall, there needs to be uh, some tips out there for folks. Yeah. What is some advice for people who are watching then when they go to hire a plumber? Right. The man, the employees told us, you make sure you get a second opinion, which is really hard. Your toilet's clogged up, and you're going to say, well, wait a second, I need it. But that's how you protect yourself. Uh, get a recommendation from a friend. Hey, I know a great, Absolutely. great yeah. plumbers yeah. were great for me. You can check complaints uh, about contractors in Oregon and Washington. If you go to coin.com in our store, you'll see there, there's links on how to do that. Hey, Coy, and I know you and I, Dan, both kind of are handy people. Man, I'm always hovering over those work guys <laughs> when I'm there, but I know a lot of people can't do that. Right, yeah. Yeah. who has all day to watch Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, thanks, Dan, great information. Great, great story, yeah. Okay, Kristen, now.